Hey guys, what's up? It's Perpikowski here. I got another video for you guys. This is going to be the um, how to take out your bolt, your charging handle off your Ruger 1022 and replace it with an aftermarket or just for cleaning and maintenance. So if you do not know how to get your rifle to this stage, watch some of my other videos. Um, there, They show you how to do it. It's super simple. Just take your uh, stock off, band off, and your trigger group out and you're to this stage. Very simple. So what we're going to want to do first is we're going to take out our bolt buffer. Now all these parts that I have here today are Rimfire Technologies. Um, them guys over there are making a great product out of Washington State. And I went with half Volkertson, half Tapco, half uh, Rimfire Technologies. And I mean I'm extremely happy with how it's all worked so far. So. Um, this bolt buffer is a little bit tighter than the factory. This is Rimfire Technologies um, recoil absorbing bolt buffer. And I might go that way better. And just make sure that you keep it centered if you do have to pound it out like this. And you don't want to mar up that receiver. Here she goes. And watch it as it goes through. Like I said, you do not want to mar up that receiver. And we'll just leave it right there like that. Not going to hurt anything. Um, so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to put, I found this to be the best way to do it. Put your palm against the face, the rear face of the receiver, like so. Pull back with your handle, or with your charging handle, and lift up on the bolt face never done it sitting down before. Lift up on your bolt face. Your bolt face pops off your charging handle. Now, here's your bolt. And, whoops. This is your charging handle. Now, I had a pin here. Okay, here's the pin that came with this Rimfire Technologies bolt release. I'm going to put that pin in. I'll just have to pull it out and do it. Because this does not have a detent, a keeper detent, so it will fling off and you'll have to go uh, spring and guide rod hunting and that's no fun ever. It's never no fun. Alright, so once you're to this stage, you're done. You can uh, clean it out. That's just CLP in there, so I'm not going to bother cleaning that out because it's only going to help it. So then, for reassembly, take your bolt, or your charging handle, and your guide rod and spring assembly. Put it in. There's a little, like, a little titty thing back here, and that has to lock into that hole in this back here. So you want to going to want to make sure that that locks up. So put that in. Like I said with this one there's no retaining, so you wouldn't have to do this on a factory. Pull out your cotter pin. Put it in and that can rest up against the face, the bolt face. Take your bolt and I'm just going to wipe it off all that's on there is CLP. Um just because it's easier to do with dry parts than it is lubricated parts. So, then, drop your bolt in, pull your charging handle back, like that, and I gotta, I'm gonna have to stand up to do it. I've never done it sitting down before. Alright, so just make sure everything's lined up in there, make sure your spring isn't cocked or kinked. So, uh, pull that back. You're going to want to come in with your bolt. Just, yep, hold that from moving. Come in with your bolt. Bolt drops down. Let your charging handle move forward to meet the spot in the bolt. And you'll get used to it. It takes a couple, takes a couple tries. Trial and error, really. I've done it two or three times now and it still takes me a little bit. 
Once it's right, it's right. It'll go. There should be no forcing or prying or anything. So, And they do sell a tool that does this job a whole hell of a lot easier. There we go. And you heard that snap, it's a pretty audible snap. So just do a uh, function check, slide it back and forth, make sure nothing's kinked, and uh, let it seat once against the bolt. Push it down, good to go. Flip it over, take your buffer, and put your buffer back. There we go. And I always lube up that buffer a little bit. Slides back and forth easier. Another function check up against that. You're good to go. That's all it takes. Now, when I first did it the first time, it took me about two hours to get it back in. <laughs> now I can do it in a couple minutes. Uh, the more you do it, the better you'll get. So if you're bored one day, take it apart and start working on it. Get your practice in. Alright, that's how you change out your charging handle and your Ruger 1022.